Hey guys, I know this week has been like crazy busy as I had posted on my uh, Facebook page, but I wanted to give you a little shout out, little update. Um, one of my videos that I had just a few weeks ago, I talked a lot about pelvic floor dysfunction. And if you're a woman and have had any sort of back issues after having labor or any physical issues, I encourage you to research that and watch um, my video that I have. I will tell you guys as an update, I have been going to physical therapy each week and it has been amazing. Um, I have been working with a um, physical therapist that is certified in pelvic floor dysfunction and I'll tell you, the exercises that she gives me is, they're simple they don't even look like I'm exercising. And I'll tell you what, guys, I have felt 10 times better with my back, my strength, my mobility. And that kind of leads me into what I kind of wanted just to touch base with you guys on. Sorry, is this kind of weird recording on the laptop? It's a little different. But um, for the moms out there, and it's a big lesson for myself because I am the type of person that will put everybody else before myself and kind of put myself last. But um, working with a physical therapist and talking a little bit about taking ca better care of yourself as a mom and as a person for your own well-being, it kind of goes hand in hand where I say don't get stuck, moms, because you guys need time to take care of your own self, um, time to either go to the gym, get out. Um, I went, you love my new hair? I do. <laughs> um, time to get away. I mean, Ladies, you know it's not easy to get away, and it's really hard sometimes, especially first-time moms, to even just take a couple hours to get your hair done. It is tough on you emotionally, and even though you know your child's okay, it's still hard to separate. So I will be having some upcoming um, videos, a little bit more talking about taking care of yourself um, as a mom and things that you can do to try to help get away and simple things and things that I'm going to focus more on the day-to-day -day type things, guys. Um, I know it's easy to kind of plan a babysitting night and go out, but day-to-day, -day, how can you find time just to take a break, recharge, take a deep breath, and make it through the rest of your day? Um, I know a lot of us out there are working moms and you know some of us are at home with multiple children, so you need those just few minutes a day to take care of yourself. And like I said, you know, there's a lot of things out there about women's health that they don't really talk about. And that's what I've been learning about. Um, specifically, like I said, I've been talking about the pelvic floor dysfunction. There's also another thing, um, and I know I'm going to mess this name up, um, diastasis recti, I think is how you say it, but it has to do with the abdominal muscles separating after childbirth. But these are things that um, you guys can find information about online and all that jazz. But like I said, not to keep you guys all up, it is Sunday night. Um, I hope you guys are prepping for a great week. Um, you guys will actually see this tomorrow. So have a great Monday, <laughs> and I will see you guys um, later in the week. I've got new things coming at you, developing, and I'm going to take some time for myself and go have some mommy time and Watch the season finale of When Calls the Heart. If you guys haven't seen the show, it's a great show on Hallmark. It's really wholesome, great, and it's got some really good morals and some great beliefs behind it. Love the show. Hallmark is awesome. Love it. Um, that's about it for me, guys. Have a great day and be blessed. Don't forget, check out my YouTube channel or the rest of the channel, I should say. Check out the other videos. Um, and don't forget, I have the marriage series with my husband, and I hope you guys love it, and I'll be back soon. See you later.